This is a Space News update for the morning of April 14, 2008. In the news this morning, the countdown is proceeding on schedule toward a launch this afternoon of a United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying a communications satellite for ICO Global Communications. Launch is scheduled at 4.12 this afternoon Eastern Time at the beginning of a 60-minute launch window from Space Launch Complex 41 at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida. This will be the first Atlas V launch from Cape Canaveral this year, and this is also the first Atlas V rocket procured by, by Lockheed Martin Commercial Launch Services for United Launch Alliance. The payload on this mission, the ICO G1 Next Generation Satellite, is the heaviest payload ever lifted by an Atlas V rocket. The ICO G1 Next Generation Satellite will deliver advanced nationwide mobile interactive media services to portable and handheld devices. ICO MIM will provide live mobile television, a new level of interactive consumer navigation, and enhanced roadside assistance capabilities all made possible by the ICO G1 satellite. With this launch, ICO will become America's first nationwide mobile interactive media company. The satellite was manufactured by Space Systems Loral. The ICO G1 satellite is over 27 feet tall and features a 12 meter unfurlable mesh S-band reflector. It provides 16 kilowatts of power with solar arrays that span over 100 feet when deployed and it weighs in at approximately 6,634 kilograms fueled. Again, this makes it the heaviest satellite ever launched on an Atlas V vehicle. The ICO G1 satellite is the first satellite to utilize ground-based beam forming in the forward and return directions and will be located at 92.85 degrees west, providing ubiquitous coverage over the United States. The Atlas rocket will fly in a very short mission of only 30 minutes. The ICO G1 mission will be flown from Launch Complex 41 at Cape Canaveral. The Atlas V launch vehicle is flying in the 421 configuration with two solid rocket boosters and a single engine Centaur upper stage. The ICO G1 satellite is encapsulated in a 4 meter diameter extended extended payload fairing and integrated to the Centaur using a C-22 payload adapter, a B-1194 low shock payload separation mechanism, and electrical harness. The mission will commence at T-5 seconds when the aft plate ejects from the launch vehicle, followed by the Atlas RD-180 engine ignition at approximately T-2.7 seconds. Solid rocket booster ignition takes place at T plus 0.8 seconds. Liftoff occurs at T plus 1.1 seconds. Shortly after the vehicle clears the launch pad, it performs a programmed pitch, yaw, and roll maneuver. Maximum dynamic pressure occurs at 43 seconds into flight. Vehicle telemetry and data are gathered and relayed through various local and downrange tracking stations. The tracking and data relay satellite system also serves to downlink vehicle telemetry throughout the mission. Centaur separation initiates six seconds after booster engine cutoff. Centaur main engine start occurs 10 seconds after the separation event at T plus 271.3 seconds. Payload fairing jettison takes place at 279.2 seconds. Eight seconds after the first Centaur main engine start is when the payload fairing is jettisoned at T plus 868.3 seconds the Centaur engine shuts down for the first main engine cutoff. At this point the Centaur has achieved a preliminary parking orbit. After an eight minute coast phase the Centaur reorients itself for engine reignition. Main engine start number two begins at T plus 1352.8 seconds. The Centaur sh shuts down again at T plus 1661.4 seconds.
After a three minute coast phase, the centaur reorients itself, reorients itself to a separation attitude and begins the spacecraft separation maneuver. Spacecraft separation occurs approximately 30 minutes after liftoff. Once again, the countdown is proceeding on schedule toward this afternoon's liftoff of the Atlas V rocket. The launch is scheduled for 4.12 p.m. Eastern Time. The launch window is 60 minutes long. The launch will take place from Space Launch Complex 41 at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. If you want to watch the launch, you can watch it on United Launch Alliance's website at www.ulalaunch.com. And you're invited to visit our website at www.dailyspaceupdate.com. We will have another podcast this evening after the uh, Atlas mission. And with that, thank you for watching and listening to this podcast. And this has been a Space News Update.